Alright, I'm just going to cut back in here because when I'm going to the sky, I'm guessing that Fee's going to pop in with a message here. Just because, you know, she's kind of like that and we'll just do that every once in a while. Oh, I guess not. So, I, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and stay in here because it's not that much, it's not that long of a flight to get back to, uh... uh oh crap, why'd I do that? No! Oh wait, I can get back on the bird, that's right. I was being kind of silly there. That was just the noise of the feathers regenerating. I was like, what is that ding noise? Does Fee want to tell me something? And then I pressed down, forgetting that down is dive. And I was like, oh no! I'm falling to my death! Ah, <laughs> uh, well, at least there are nice handy dandy birds every, every where you go to uh, get you back off your feet if you ever fall. You know, I'd be scared to do it to any flying like this because I don't like flying in a regular airplane and I don't think that doing this would be any help more helpful. Let's see, let's go to In the Woods. Yes, let's go there. That seems like a pretty nice place to go. Because if I remember correct, if I, if you guys remember, and uh, I kind of remember this, but not really, there is a bombable wall somewhere in the La Forest. Alrighty, and we got some uh, moblins here too, and Deku's. Let's get that. Oops, what is that? Is that my bottle? Uh, what is that? My small seed satchel. Let's equip that. Ah, the mines! What was that? Oh, more seeds. Wait, how many seeds do I have for my, my, uh, my Wachimidoki? Oh, wait, no, it's B. Uh, oh, 25. Nice. That is pretty useful. I like... That small seed satchel I have must give me uh, the ability to hold more. Because I believe the regular uh, Wachimidoki. The regular slingshot on its own only holds um, uh, 20. And this one holds 25, so I'm guessing we did something good. Let's see. I think the bombable wall is down here? Yeah, I see it back there. Okay, over there. Let's go for it! Uh, wow, the enemies have... There they seem to be harder enemies in here. Yep, this is Bombable. So, let's go ahead and... Put down. And let's watch it explode. No, that bomb is not Zelda. Oh, man! Look what it is! It's a... Piece of heart! Oh man, we have one more piece of heart to go before we have a new heart container. That is so exciting. So, um, I'm going to cut here and I'm going to meet you in, um, I'm going to meet you at the temple. I will be right back. Wait, you know what a better idea is? Wait, I want to do something. Let's, uh, let's go to the sky. Yes, I would like to go to the sky. And then, once we get up into the sky, if it will load, please. Yeah. Wee! For some reason, that looks red, even though it's sh like it should have been green. But I guess whenever we come out of the sky at all, it just it just looks kind of like an ambery color. And let's yeah. dive back down. <laughs> oh gosh, hiccups. And now we can actually select that we want to go right to the temple without actually having to do any of the, uh, having to go, uh, through the woods. Yes! I love cheating the system. <laughs> oh, silk cloth. Nice. Alrighty, I will meet you on the other side of the temple because there is something in the, uh, the, uh, sanctuary place that I need to be collecting. Here's a hint, it's a goddess cube! I'll be right back. <laughs> oh 
Oh man, it looks like we're gonna fight the boss again. But, no, not really. It's just a grand entrance back into the place again. <laughs> it's kind of funny how it does that. Nope. No, no boss fight. Just kind of like, oh man, look where you are again. You're back here. What are you doing back here? You crazy boy? <laughs> You're a lazy boy. That's what you are. You're like one of them chairs. Alrighty. Now that we are here in the Skyview Spring, I'm going to hop in the water over here and head back behind here. And what do you know? Like I said, it's a goddess cube. And that, I believe, is the last of the goddess cubes that we can get as of right now. So, what we are going to go do now is, well, we want to get out of this temple first. But that's simple enough, because all we need to do is go to the... If this doesn't warp us out, all we need to do is go to the nearest um, uh, statue and click go outside, because that's simple enough. Yep, and we can run through here. Oh man, we get to go to the boss doors backwards now. Oh man, they're on the, they're double hinged. That's cool. They wait, they did open inward last time we used them, right? Yeah, they did cuz I remember that I remember when they closed. <laughs> I like how Link gets scared when they close behind him too. He's like, "Wait, I'm outside." Huh. Ah, sneak attack. Oh wait, you guys take more than one hit. I mean, more than three hits. Oh crap! Way to go, Link! Wait, speedrunning tactics! Yes! I didn't have to jump over that tight- I didn't have to go over that tight rope at all. I had to do is commit suicide, and now I'm here. Sweet! See, sometimes suicide is the answer, right? No, it's not. Wait, where am I going? I'm trying to take the uh, long way out when really I should have uh, just gone to that uh, statue that was over there and clicked gone outside. Yes, I'd like to leave the area. Do 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 do. Wow, you can actually hear footsteps of Link leaving. <laughs> Woohoo, we're out. Now we shall go into the sky and I think it's time we take a trip back to Skyloft because we haven't been there in a while. I don't know if I want to put the uh, ruby tablet, I mean not the ruby tablet, the amber tablet in yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a bit of side questing if you guys don't mind. I mean you guys don't really have any much say in it because I'm the one that's doing this of course so let's Go ahead and climb up to Skyloft, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to a shop we haven't gone to yet. It's called Beetle's Ship Shop. Anyone who's played, um, anyone who's played, um, Wind Waker might remember Beetle because he's the one that had the little ship shop that was always that would always be on the the uh, islands around the area. So if you um let's see where if you uh just so happen to be in an area and you um let's, let's go to look regular. Just if you look around, you'll notice there is a flying whatchamacallit over there. And it has a bell hanging from it. And uh, there was a kid earlier in the game, I don't know if I visited him or not, but I remember someone else I was I was watching had stated that uh, if you wanted to get to Beetle, all you had to do was ring the bell. And I don't know if that Beetle's going to make it to him or not, because he kind of flies the same speed as the Beetle does. Oh, come on, come on, you're almost there, Beetle. Yes! I'm using the Beetle to call Beetle! How ironic is, I mean, how, how what a coincidence is that? And once you do that, he'll drop down this rope, which we can then grab, and he's going to reel us up. And he hit A to let go, which I don't think he want to do. And hit A to let go when at your t when at the top though, because you know when just hang there for eternity. It's even got the same music. 
And look what, look how he's trying to keep this place up. He has to use one of those bikes. He's got the same voice too. He's like, oh, you come all this way. It's so rare to have a customer here. Beetle's Air Shop has everything you could ever want. Please take a look around. If you actually buy something, that'd be even better. Alrighty, so what we want to do is we want to see what we got here. Oh, it's a bug net. Yes, for catching bugs. There are many bugs. You get yes, it's 50 rupees. You make a net profit. Yeah, let's buy it. We got the bug net. Sweet. And we have a new bee item. Thank you. Thank you. I love his voice clips. I love that they uh, they made them in there. Oh, thank you ever so much for giving me the strength to keep pedaling. And also, what we got here... Oh, it's an extra wallet. Amazingly useful. You can carry X through 300 rupees in your wallet. Take a mile of those times, you couldn't pick up another rupee because your wallet was stuffed full. Leave no rupee behind. Only 100 rupees. Yeah, let's buy that. That's a pretty good purchase. You got the extra wallet. See, look. Wallet plus 300. Thank you. Yeah. And also, he's got a really good item here. It's an it's an adventure pouch. Sweet. It's 300 rupees though, but I'll take it. You got adventure pouch. It was really expensive, but oh well, we we can afford it. Thank you. It really suits you. Oh, thanks. We've almost sold him out. All he has left is this thingy here. It's a life metal, bestows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects on whoever carries it. Kind of effects. Don't ask me, I don't actually know. You should find out for yourself. Real bargain at 800 rupees? Holy crap. Uh, no thanks. I bought too much stuff. Please take a look at the other things I have for sale. Uh, yeah. Good, good going there, guy. Everything else is sold out. Unfortunately, that time it's the item sold out. Next to you, I've done a lot more business than usual, so I'm having trouble keeping the store stocked. I imagine you have trouble keeping the store stocked with all the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, pedaling you have to do. Wanna want to know why I'm on a bicycle? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, why? Aren't you curious, one? Throw this bike to generate enough electricity to keep this place in the air. Plus, all this pedaling has got me in fantastic shape. That was pretty eco-friendly. You know, and both, there's plenty of extra weight, so I have to pedal as hard as I can. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to be rude. Please have a look around. I got all kinds of great stuff. Alrighty, Beetle. You have been a great help with all these items you have bestowed upon us. With... And now that nicely cleaned out our wallet, so we have... How much space do we have on our wallet? Like 800 rup 800 sp rupee spaces? That's pretty nice. And he's got this little ladder in this back area here. I'm not sure what important use is this for, but... We can just go ahead and get back down. And... What I'm gonna go ahead and do is let's go ahead and fly around and collect some of those, um... Some of those whatchamaduikis that, uh... Some of the, um... Uh... The goddess chests that we made spawn. We almost landed on that island just by falling there. What do you know? <laughs> so if we go look at our map, we can see that we have goddess chests all over the place. We have one up here, one up there, one up there, one there, one there. None, in, none near the Skyloft area, though. But what we do have is we have one on the uh, pumpkin pumpkin landing area and we do owe them a debt so I'm gonna go ahead and if I can get myself going in the right direction must be too far out of no there it is I can see it back there in the distance this uh this uh wide I mean this um the fact that I've made it full screen now is quite useful because before uh, it was all like um, just I had tons of black bars on the side, but now it's quite useful to see. So we're going to go ahead and um, start f fulfilling that our uh, debt that to society that we have because of the fact that we uh, used the uh, we broke that chandelier that the one guy had for the piece of heart. Because it was so tantalizing. I mean, come on, how could we have passed it up at all? Jeez. Oh, and also, I figured out what these things over here do. I was kind of watching NCS play. I didn't watch any of him to the future. I was just watching the parts that he uh, had played. 
but these, if you go through them, they are warps! They, uh, they're kind of like going through zoomy pads and, uh, uh, Mario Kart. And let's land on the top of Pumpkin Landing Building here. And that chest that we had unlocked is... where at? It's just the front of the building, right? Because it's... Oh, ugh, there we go. It's right here on top of this build, on top of Pumpkin Landing. But we need it'll help if we get on the right side of it. Let's open up. Let's see what's inside. Let's see what's inside. It's a gold rupee. It's worth a staggering 300 rupees. Shh, don't tell anyone. Haha, <laughs> nice. I'd say that was well worth buying that adventure pouch because we just got a new, um, we just got a, um, all the money that we just did worth back. Sweet. So, now that we have an empty bottle that we've come back with here, let's get ready to pay our debt to society. So you brought an empty bottle with you, like I asked. Great! Alright then, here's the hot pumpkin soup. Liver to the Night Commander. Hot pumpkin soup! Especially, but watch it, it'll get cold in five minutes. Okay, Night Commander hates cold soup. Gonna take this hot soup over to him. Got delivered in less than five minutes and the soup will get cold. Alrighty, will do. Got five minutes to get there. Let's do it. Link, go! This is kind of like the uh, hot water in uh, the hot spring water in the other games because when you'd walk around with it for too long, it would get cold and then you uh, couldn't really do much with it. Yeah. Let's jump and whistle for the bird. And let's go. We gotta get back to Skyloft. Let us go! And now that I know what those uh, rock things do, let's go ahead and use them to our advantage by seeing if we can aim and zoom through it. Do, 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 do. I gotta say, the flying music is pretty darn cool, because uh, uh, flying reminds me of sailing in the Great Sea, except I think flying just might be a little bit better, because it uh, it's just a tad bit faster. Zoom! Look how fast that was. We are already coming up on the island here. Let's go ahead and wake our way across the island over to the Night Academy because we want to get to where the commander is. Let us go. He should be in Sparring Hall. Let's go. Whoop, and let's dive. Let's warp into the place with the thingies. And Sailcloth. Alrighty. Do, do, do. <gasps> Welcome back to Skyloft! <gasps> and let's go see the Night Academy. I mean, the, the Mr. Duder play thingy! The Night Guy. And let's give him him soup! Hey, Link, have you been working hard on your swordsmanship? I smell something. I know that earthly aroma. Is that my favorite pumpkin soup? I asked the owner of a lumpy pumpkin to bring me some. What? You went out of your way to deliver some to me? That's right! Yes, give it to me! Here you go! Nice and hot soup. Glug, glug, glug! Drink it up! So good! Mmm, this is the stuff! Pumpkin soup is best piping hot! Well done! Say thanks to the owner for me! I will do that. Our, sword, our shield's kinda getting worn out there. It's only got half of a life left on it. Oh, excuse me, I had a burp there. Jeez. 